Um, today I continue reading the book Teachings on Love uh, by Thầy Thích Nhật Hạnh for chapter 13, Touching the Earth. This is a long chapter, so I just read a part of it. Um, in Buddhism, there is a practice called Touching the Earth that can help us realize our wish to generate the energies of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. During the practice, we touch the earth deeply six times, surrounding ourselves to the earth and to our own true nature. We touch the earth with our forehead, our two legs, and our two hands, so that our mind and body form a perfect whole, allowing us to transcend our small self. We surrender our pride, notions, fears, resentments, and even our hopes, and enter the world of things as they are. Touching the earth is an effective yogic practice. We return to our own source of wisdom and are no longer separate and apart from our mother earth. The practice of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity helps establish our connectedness, which brings about health and happiness. The one who bows and the one who is bowed to are the same, both are with our separate self. When we look deeply into a flower, we can see the sun, the clouds, seeds, the nutrients in the soil, and many other things. We understand that the flower cannot exist as a separate, independent self. It is made entirely of what we can call non-flower elements. The one who bows and the one who is bowed to are at the same nature. I am made of non-me elements. The Buddha is made of non-Buddha elements. Nothing can exist by itself alone. Everything has to interbeal with everything else in the cosmos. Because we both have the nature of interbeing, our relationship is beyond expression. If I do not exist, the Buddha does not exist. If the Buddha is not, I am not. Our relationship is whole and complete. With undivided heart to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha that are in the ten directions and also in myself that are in all the Dharma realms, transcending past, present and future, touching the earth and surrounding, I go for refuge with my whole body and mind. This kind of bow does not diminish your personality. It restores your wholeness and connects you to the nature of awakening that is within you. When you touch the earth, lie close to the earth and allow yourself to be heard. You are absorbed into the earth. If you practice indoors, use a mat so you don't get dust from the floor on, on you. Try to remain on the earth on the mat for at least three or four minutes. The closer you can lie against the earth, melting into the earth, the better. You become nothing in order to become everything. After you have been practicing touching the earth for two or three months, you will feel deeply refreshed, strong, and healthy. You will love life and be able to smile because the energies of hatred and ill will in you will have greatly diminished. There are six earth touchings. In the first, we look deeply within. In the second, we see the connection between ourselves and other living beings, including those who live around us. By the fifth earth touching, we are truly able to feel love for the people we have disliked. All of our hatred and anger will have disappeared, and we only want the person we hate hated to enjoy happiness and dwell in the peace. We are able to reach that point because First of all, we are able to love ourselves. Touching the earth and res reciting the six accompanying meditations generates in us deep love and acceptance. When we are able to love the person who has made us miserable, we realize what a miracle love is. The first of touching. In gratitude, I bow to all generations of ancestors in my blood family. I see my mother and father whose blood flesh and vitality are circulating in my own veins and nourishing every cell in me. Through them, I see my four grandparents. Their expectations, experiences, and wisdom have been transmitted from so many generations of ancestors. I carry in me the life, blood, experience, wisdom, happiness, and sorrow of all generations. 
the suffering and all the elements that need to be transformed. I am practicing to transform. I open my heart, flesh and bones to receive the energy of inside love and experience transmitted to me by all my ancestors. I see my roots in my father, my mother, my grandfathers, my grandmothers, and all my ancestors. I know I am only the continuation of this ancestor lineage. Please support, protect, and transmit to me your energy. I know whenever children and grandchildren and ancestors are there. Also, I know that parents always love and support their children and grandchildren, although they are not always able to express it skillfully because of difficulties they themselves encountered. I see that my ancestors try to build a way of life based on gratitude, joy, confidence, respect, and loving kindness. As a continuation of my ancestor, I bow deeply and allow the energy to flow through me. I ask my ancestor for their support, protection, and strength. If you suffer like a tree cut off its roots, it is because you have lost touch with your family and ancestral streams. Touching the earth, you are able to reabsorb the vital source of energy bequeathed to you by your ancestor. This, this part of touching can be important. Uh, medicine for those who are angry at their parents or the past generations of their families. While touching the earth, you touch on the energies of inside love and experience transmitted to you by your ancestor. You open yourself not just through your mind, but also through your body to the seeds that are already in you, the energies of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. In Vietnam, we say, come here and receive your family inheritance. Please support, protect, and transmit to me your energy. These are words of deep intention. You may a request for those energy to be shared, but in fact, they are already in you. During the first of touching, you have been able to renew your connections with all your ancestors. After only a few weeks of practicing like that, you will feel revitalized and the sense of being alone or rejected will disappear. You will begin to feel love for your father and mother, perhaps for the first time, and you will begin to love and accept yourself. That's it for today.